traveling from home to the office in minutes. Others imagined flying vehicles that didn't look anything like a car. But now the dream may be closer than ever to reality. Developers have worked on it quietly for nine years in a secret Silicon Valley location only on CBS This Morning. John Blackstone got a first look at the Airborne Project. Marcus Lane calls his invention a personal aviation vehicle. An electric aircraft so easy to fly, he says, you need little training and no pilot's license. When you press the thumbstick to climb with this, you have absolute full control. Lane gave CBS This Morning an exclusive tour of the secret Silicon Valley facility where the craft he calls Blackfly is being built. His breakthrough invention... What we're going to do is we're just going to run... ...is a small but extremely powerful electric motor. This can produce 130... Lane claims the eight-motor, single-seat aircraft has actually flown thousands of miles in test flights controlled from the ground before they ever put people in the cockpit. It doesn't have any wheels. We flew 10,000 miles. We did 1,000-plus uh, flights. All autonomous. Autonomous, and uh, we had a payload of 200 pounds. So what are the safety features? Have? First of all, you have to start off with the technology and some magic buttons like a return-to-home button for people who fly for the first time. For decades, flying cars have been part of a future that has never quite arrived. So this was a commuter. This would have been the helicopter in everybody's garage. The Hiller Aviation Museum in Silicon Valley displays several flying cars that just didn't get off the ground. The technology wasn't there because they didn't have the computers. And now the computers can actually manipulate the controls. Now, companies around the world are developing flying cars. Google co-founder Larry Page is supporting two flying car projects. Uber is working on flying taxis. Marcus Lang wants Blackfly to be on sale next year, so anyone can buy it. What are we talking? Price of a luxury Mercedes? Price of an SUV. Price of an SUV. How long will it take to learn to fly one of these? You know, in a simulator, in five minutes. Alan Eustace, former vice president of knowledge at Google, is on Blackfly's board of directors and knows about flight. He was carried by balloon into the stratosphere, then parachuted nearly 136,000 feet, breaking a world altitude record in 2014. He's almost as excited about Blackfly. And I've noticed in my career that things go from impossible to inevitable in a very short period of time. It's no longer technology standing in the way, he says, but rather regulations governing flight. There's regulatory issues to deal with, but, you know, in theory, right now, you could take this vehicle, you could put it out here, you could fly to San Francisco, you could be there in, you know, eight minutes. Under current federal regulations, Blackfly is classified as an ultralight aircraft, meaning it can't fly at night or over urban areas. It can travel just 25 miles on its electric batteries. But the joy of flight That's great. seems unlimited. They're just incredibly fun to fly. Instant gratification. <laughs> For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Palo Alto, California. I'm excited about that possibility. I mean, it's a sexy little vehicle. But I think the ground is underrated. You know, asphalt <laughs> is nice. It's really smooth. You're in touch with Safe. your gravity, yeah, are you? Yeah, exactly. Very in touch with gravity. Seems like less traffic, though, in the air. You're right. <laughs>